my beautiful people, my beautiful people, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another lovely episode of the Logic Over Emotions podcast slash reactions. It's your dog. It's your brother, man. It's your favorite African-American, Melly, baby. Uh, we got some hoops going on, but not the same as we usually do with the breakdowns. We are watching our homie, MJ2K, all day on. The Grizzlies are becoming the most hated team in the NBA. Now, me personally, I don't hate the Grizzlies myself, but it's the... It's the uh, it's the consistent arrogance that I do like it low key, but then again, it's kind of getting delusional at this point, you know, especially with Dylan Brooks, you know, and I like Dylan Brooks, which is another crazy thing too, right? But it's just that he talks like he's jaw a lot and it's just a very weird thing, you know, but uh, let's get to it, man. Let's talk about us, have fun with it, man. Like, comment, and subscribe, join the Banks family, join the Banks community. We post every single day, baby. Let's get to it, y'all. But first, that intro, you dig? Out. What are you? Boink. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The Grizzlies are becoming the most hated team in the NBA, and it's becoming a problem. The Warriors, Donovan, Minnesota, LeBron, the list keeps growing. Even Unk. They call Shannon Sharp a regular pedestrian. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you something. Okay, number one, they didn't call him that, Dylan Brooks did. But I just want to clarify with that. Because I don't want people getting the wrong ideas that everybody in Grizzlies like agree with Dylan Brooks on. Well, actually. Did, did, did they say that? Did, did y'all say that? I don't know. Oh, let me know in the comments. I, I I could be wrong. I'm sorry. But that's what I mean when I say delusional arrogance. For you to, like, and somebody, and I've seen the comments. Well, technically, he's a pedestrian. No, he's not. <laughs> he's not. He's not technically a pedestrian. Well, in the basketball world, he is. Are we really going to be this technical with, are we really going to be this technical? Because I know in your real life, you're not as technical with things. I know you're not. So don't do that. Don't do this on the internet. Don't do that. <laughs> I know you. I know you. <laughs> don't do that, bro. We, he's not a pedestrian. Come on. In the sports world altogether, that brother is not a pedestrian. Us. We are pedestrians in that world. Grizzlies were loved by everyone just two seasons ago. There was tangible excitement this audio. during John Moran's rookie season, mm. excitement for development of the younger players. Yep, but facts. the Grizzlies are ahead of timeline. And while there's nothing wrong with that, who do you look at around the league as you're studying and say, we're going to have to run through them? Celtics. No one in the West. Nah. I'm fine in the West. All right, let him cook. Oh, they lost to a struggling Warriors. This single moment has become the representation of the Grizzlies' attitude. A declaration that they believe they are better than every team in the West. And you know what? You should You, you should feel that way. Exactly. You should. Cook Jordan. The confidence is there. I would have cooked them too. But what this moment lacked was a sense of respect towards the other Western Conference teams. And that's what I was going to say. It's, it's, this is, this team... Again, I love the youth. I do, bro. But when it comes to this delusional arrogance and this just having no respect for the OGs, for example, right? Like, it's, like if the OGs don't respect the the, the 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 youth off the hip, I get it. I get to get give disrespect. I get that because you have to earn respect. But that's the problem. They haven't earned respect yet. They haven't earned it yet. You know and. It reminds me of the Clippers back in the day and the Rockets back in the day. Where they, they felt like they were champions already when they weren't. They haven't earned it. They didn't earn that, you know? So I get the same vibes from this team, except they literally have not done anything yet. Haven't done anything yet. And they will. I have no doubt about it. I'm excited for this team. I really am. But the only person on this team that actually has class that I've seen so far is just Steven Adams. That's kind of it, really. Um, there probably is more, but all I've seen is Steven Adams so far. And I love Bain too. I love Jackson. I love I love Dylan and all of them, bro. I really do. Seriously, I do. By saying they only looking at the Celtics and could run through the West, it's as if they don't even need to worry, game plan, or care for the rest of the league. The Grizzlies went on an 11 game win streak and are capable of beating any team, but they mm -hmm. aren't light years ahead of their teams yeah. and also just lost five straight. In fact, while the Grizzlies are the number two seed, they're the only top 10 team in the West with a losing record against the West. Maybe the comment should have been, I'm fine in, in the, the East. <laughs> or honestly, Dylan should take that time to worry about his fit. What, what is that? Boy, ain't no way, boy. But if you're Y'all saw that, I was crying. Yo. 
Yo. This content, subscribe. Because over 75% of you aren't. Two big videos next week. Appreciate it. While everyone might hate the PR responses, there is one thing that's similar with the Suns who have actually become the most hated team in the NBA. I don't know why D-Book did that, by the way. Wait, why did he do that? There is one thing that. Oh my God, pain! Jesus Christ, he's, he's such an actor. Similar with the Suns, who have actually become the most hated team in the NBA, and that's acting. I ain't gonna lie, D-Book's fade always is on point too. Actually, winning mm. a chip and seem to be pissing off fans and players everywhere. But how do we? Oh, I'll say this. I'll say this, y'all too. Quick, 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 thing, quick, thing, quick, quick. Seem to be pissing off fans and players. Why the hell did Stephen Adams come to talk to to Shannon Sharp? And for all you morons out there, he was on the court. He was not on the court, Goofy. <laughs> he was not on the court. Y'all, yeah, listen, y'all fantasize so much about these NBA players that it shows a lot of y'all insecurities. Steven Adams, I don't give a damn what he's done in his life. There's basketball strength and there's NFL strength. If you thought he was going to manhandle Shannon Sharp, you're crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> that man was getting hit and hitting some of the most toughest human beings in the world during those times. I, 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 said, I said to get that off because y'all are crazy. Y'all are delusional as hell, bro. I literally play against an, an, an ex-NFL practice player on the basketball court, and he's nice, by the way, right? He puts his shoulder into me. I lost my – I'm strong. I'm very strong. He knocked the wind out of me, bro. Y'all don't get it because y'all never played against somebody like that. But, again, it's, it's this fantasy of these human beings y'all have, bro. That's it, it blows my mind sometimes. It blows my mind. But Shannon Sharp is an is an a Hall of Fame ex NFL player, bro. Like what? That still works out like crazy. Like come on, bro. Like come on. But Stephen Adams has a black belt. Yeah, that's not gonna matter if he, if, he, if he has his hands around your neck. It's not gonna matter. It's not gonna matter. If someone has oh is overpowering you. I don't care what skill you have, bro. Once they get their hands on you, you're done. <laughs> you're done, bro. You're done. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Like, I just had to point that out, bro. Because y'all, I see a lot of weird, not not in this community, but I see a lot of weird people saying things like that, bro. Saying he's on the court when he wasn't. Saying Adams is sticking up for his teammates when I'm just like, for what? He wasn't going to fight anybody. So what's the reason for Steven Adams is to stick up for anybody? Can Dylan Brooks and John Moran did not defend themselves? Hello? Cause that I thought that made I thought that made the Grizzlies look weak. That they needed Stephen Adams to step in for having an argument or trash talking. Like that was so weird. That was it was weak to me, bro. It was mad weak to me, bro. You need Stephen Adams to, to 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 defend you? Like come on, bro. That man was not gonna attack nobody. Stop. Stop. Everywhere. But how did we get here? And too many, too many Weenie so Hut Juniors, bro. What is up, dude? So that's players. It's your boy. Too many. Jay. Everyone's been happy for a success. Oh my god. Ja. Team figuring it out, and for the past decade, the Grizzlies represent grit and grind. Their mm -hmm. play style was slow and fast. Back from Tony Allen season. days, yes, now, sir. A much faster team with John at the helm, Jerry and Zebo playing great defense, and Dylan Brooks playing football. What are you doing? With a lot more celebration. I think I think he's the problem with the Grizzlies personally. Celebrate away. This might get on other teams' nerves as we I think Dylan Brooks is the problem. I'm not even gonna lie. Online business is not easy and when he's on, he's on. But he has to get on. That's the problem. Look, I was just like We've seen with the Warriors in the past, but but if you're enjoying the game, you're enjoying the game. I ain't gonna lie, just his braids be on point too. Consistent mm. basis, and if you're backing it up, that's fine. Mm -hmm. As long as you're not just doing it when you're up, as the Suns do. <laughs> so as long as <laughs> keep some free throws only of the night. You know when Jaw was drafted, some were saying, "Oh, well, that's the consolation." <laughs> Hmm, never mind. <laughs> Desmond Bain hit an and one, and while they're up, put his elbow into LeBron. <clears throat> the Grizzlies go up by five, but LeBron's referencing the idea of the Grizzlies finally being good and trash talking now mm -hmm. when they are quote unquote up, not just a few mm -hmm. years ago when the Lakers were better. This all happened I agree. over a year ago. I agree. And didn't get thought of as much, but it's resurfaced. Most of the smoke has been for John since he's been the one that's been the loudest. Like. But I am mad at it, though, because the brother is, he's going to work. But it's just like Draymond said before, bro, Ja, you're good. The rest of your team isn't. Like, Bane is nice, bro. But the amount of trash talking Dylan Brooks 
and Ja and Jaron Jackson, who does it here and there, that they do, bro. You got to understand, you got to be on your P's and Q's every game because now you got a target on your back. So they want to kill you every game now. Every game. And now Adams and, and, and Jackson's out. Oh, they're going to kill you, bro. They're going to kill y'all. You know what I'm saying? And me personally, I want the Grizzlies to take this, learn from this, and become better. Because I, like I said, bro, like, listen, if, you, if you're from somewhere, bro, and you've seen the youth, bro, be just like all arrogant and stuff, and then you see them grow and learn and understand and respect and become way better than they were before, it's a beautiful thing. And I would, I want to see Ja become that because I feel like he'll become a better player too, as well as a better human being, you know? I'm not saying he's a bad human being, but I'm just saying like he'll become more respectful of, of just people in general. You know, um, like I said, I like I've always liked this team since Zebo, since since Tony Allen. I oh my god, bro! Like I, I love them, bro. I love them during those days, bro. So I don't hate them. I don't. I don't me personally, but I understand where the frustration comes from, where the hate does come from. I, I understand. I'll say that I understand, but I don't hate them. Dylan Brooks, on the other hand, though, I'm not a big fan of his. I'm not a big fan. Kim Sala brings scoring Not on a, a 10 day contract player, and the majority of fans are fed up. Yeah, they're saying they're worse than the Suns. Because the Grizzly players have already called themselves a dynasty. Yeah. They haven't even made the Western Conference final. Oh yeah. no, man. Saying you're a dynasty before even winning a single chip is wild. Saying you're a dynasty before you've even been to Western Conference finals is wild. So is Taco Bell. So Taco Bell, sponsor me. We're trying. And while it may be fun to. Talk about going to hit you up one day, MJ. I'm telling you, they're going to hit you up one day, bro. Watch. Trash talk the Watch. Now, where was this attitude two, three years ago? Mm -hmm. But nothing was as bad as what they tried to do. Oh, this was hilarious. This was hilarious. The Grizzlies publicly stated near demanded that they play the Warriors on Christmas. And they got what they wanted, but it started much earlier, and almost a year ago, with this tweet. After the Grizzlies beat a Warriors team without Curry, Clay, and Green in March 2022, Jaron Jackson Jr., who didn't even play, tweeted strength in numbers. And I want to say that too, man, because I remember when I saw that, I said to myself, that's obviously towards the Warriors. And let me tell y'all something. Beating somebody without their best players and then bragging about it is the most soft activity you could possibly do in a sport. That's soft. That's soft. Because... Let's say, for example, uh, let's say with the, uh, the the Nuggets, right? How they played the Nuggets, right? No one sat there and thought the Nuggets were going to beat the Golden State Warriors last year. Let's be very clear. So any Golden State Warriors fan that was bragging about that, you're weird. You're weird. Because even I said, I said, yo, bro, I don't, I don't want to watch this, bro. I'm watching Jokic really go through it by himself, basically. You know what I'm saying? Like, like no MPJ, it, it, no Murray. They don't talk trash. That's weird. That's weird. When someone's at full strength, then you talk that trash. But if you talk trash, bro, when key players are missing, that's just weird. Like, for example, how the Grizzlies beat um I'm, so, I'm sorry. How the how the Grizzlies uh got beat on um Christmas, right? Uh Adams didn't play. But didn't but Wiggins Wiggins didn't play either, right? I think. I don't remember. But my, my point still being though is this is that two key players didn't play, right? So that's different. But let's say Wiggins, Curry, and Draymond didn't play versus just Adams didn't play, right? You can't be talking trash. That's just weird. That's weird. You know, the Warriors slogan. You had Dylan Brooks out here on his Kobe type B? Kobe! What's up with the hell? Why does everyone like to trash talk the Warriors without Curry? First it was winner's work, and now this? But the Grizzlies were fed up with the Andre Iguodala situation. Remember when the Warriors tried Iguodala to the Grizzlies to get more cap space to get mm -hmm. D'Angelo Russell, and Iggy Shout out to d Low to too. He, he doing good, man. Shout out to my boy. The Grizzlies were supposed to be trash, but were in the playoff hunt, and while they agreed to trade Iggy early on the season, Season, they didn't find a trade and mm. Iggy got frustrated like come on bro I'm trying to get to a contender and the rest of the Grizzlies felt disrespected after a game in 2022 Dylan said we had a vision 
he didn't. John liked the tweet saying F Igodala. So Iggy being back on the Warriors <laughs> he probably meant more to the Grizzlies. And they beat the Chuck E. Cheese Warriors in the 2021 playing game. But considering that the Grizzlies also faced the Warriors in last year's playoffs and trash talked them before, yeah, it seems like they haven't learned their lesson. There was this one player on the Grizzlies who tweeted strength and numbers after they beat us in the regular season, and it pissed me off so much. I can't wait to retweet that thing freaking bum yeah players remember that and yeah they take it to heart but the grizzlies have been winning this season and i want to say this too why y'all why yeah why y'all weirdos i saw y'all weirdos too man saying oh man he living rent 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 free in clay's head yeah y'all listen to y'all feel the same way when all these rappers be flexing on people that 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 said they wouldn't make it back in the day I know y'all don't. I know y'all say they say, me and me too. When I get mines, I'm, I'm going to be the same way. A lot of y'all are hypocrites. A lot of y'all are hypocrites, man. A lot of y'all are hypocrites. So y'all get exposed, bro. A lot of y'all are hypocrites. It's the reason why a lot of y'all don't, don't have public platforms like that. Because y'all know if you do get a little bit of love, they're going to expose your goofy ass. Stop, man. Stop. If someone talks trash to you, bro, and you just want to chip, you're going to talk trash to the people that said you weren't going to do this, weren't going to do that. I don't understand how y'all can't relate to that. Because I know a lot, all of us in this world have at least one time have had people say we couldn't have doubted us. I know we all have. And then when we prove them wrong, oh, we blasted their ass. I know we've done that at least one time. So for y'all, so, so for people to sit there and say, he live in rent-free in Clay's head, I thought that was hilarious to me. Because I'm just like, wow, so you've never done that before? you never... You never, when you prove somebody wrong, that feels great and you just want to blast their dumb asses? That's crazy, ain't it? It's and crazy. You can too You've never done that. Prize picks to sponsor today's video, but you don't need to be mean about it. You've seen me get your money up, dog. Players get your money. Hey, offensively, not putting up that crazy number, so under. Also, all star votes be wild. And Draymond mm -hmm. with over rebounds and assists, because that boy don't score. Boy, ain't no way, boy. And you see, <laughs> we hit. <laughs> It's you against the numbers, and you can win up to 10 times your money on any mm. entry. Picks can be made in six. Use the promo code the most in the playoffs and players oh. in the NBA without being good or winning. He pushed Curry in the playoffs and complaining he doesn't foul. He's second in technical fouls in the league right now. But yep. this adds to that we're veteran champions, that we're already a dynasty with only one and a half seasons of being actually good is the attitude that gets them in trouble. At the highest level, mentality plays mm. a huge role in how players and teams perform. Most NBA players are beyond athletic and skilled, capable of balling out. But how many times have we Wiggins. seen great teams and players lose to a bad team in the regular season and wonder why? It's because they just didn't get excited or get serious enough. Or you have teams that seemingly only play good against good teams because they get locked in mm -hmm. but can't be consistent. Right. And, and, and again, if you play a ball before you'd understand that when you play bums you you usually what happens is you either play down to their level or you 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 play a little bit to your like to you actually how you can really play and when it comes to the nba with the warriors just for an example the warriors have an issue of not taking games seriously and i've said that for a long time too i've said that for a very long time and it frustrates me bro it really does frustrate me a lot um but we, we all know in the nba in the regular world too that playoffs and Warriors and playoffs are, are a whole different team. So when people sit there and say things like, oh, Golden State doesn't want to see this team in the playoffs, I'm just like, no, they don't want to see the Golden State in the playoffs. Like, I don't think y'all get that. I don't think y'all understand. The team, they hold, it's a whole different switch in the playoffs. They are made for the playoffs, you know? So um, when people say those things, it lets me know that people are just being fans, you know? Because we've seen it countless years. And people still keep saying things like, oh, no, it's not that. It's not that. It's not that. Even though it's been shown over and over again to be that, to be that, they're going to kill in the playoffs. They just have to get there. That's all. But um, like I said, though, before, man, like, like, like the Nuggets, for example, very good team. Very good. That's another example. Very good team. They just have a problem sometimes of just putting their foot on team's neck sometimes. You know, and um, once if once they get into just, just stomping on their necks, bro, whoo, the Nuggets, Jesus Christ, watch out, man. 
And perhaps more importantly, there are certain teams and players you don't trash talk. 27 point lead, down goes Johnson, three lead. That you don't fuel the fire. Reggie Miller stated how he got absolutely cooked after trash talking Jordan, as if a flip just switched on. Yeah. Players have said that trash talking You're giving them a Garnett reason. has led to Garnett king even crazier. Curry at halftime reads the hate to get pumped up. It's why players choose to hold their tongue, to not give more motivation to the other team. Mm -hmm. So rather than rattling off, you choose your battles if you want to win, or you win building your online business you gotta choose your battle so you can win the war man it's simple go to wix.com and set the championship and you're allowed a little bit more leeway four days after the we're fine comments the grizzlies faced off against the warriors without curry and lost it's almost as if the grizzlies have intentionally put a target on their backs mm -hmm. that champions do we're talking about a game of margins the extra one to two percent that's a great layup by the matters way. Mm. the one thing the grizzlies don't do is run from smoke they invite it whether it's new orleans it's on his shoe and now Najee Marshall made a move towards or even the Suns with a great defensive play by Tory Craig. And That's respect. They demanded to play the Warriors <laughs> in Christmas and lost. Got smoked. Oh. Damn. Clay really taunting Dylan Brooks while he was on the floor. Yeah, I don't. Yo, that is that that's probably the most fire scene of you to, you talking trash on a dude you just shot on as he's sliding back is crazy. <laughs> like somebody gotta get that as a portrait to put that on their wall i'm not gonna do that because I, I have other ideas for my wall but bro jaw has been the pioneer of the team's trash talk he's been fearless and hasn't been afraid to get into it with anyone this target they put on their backs also means teams will engage with the Grizzlies ooh, first. Ooh, ooh, Think ooh, about ooh. the first round, Timberwolves versus Grizzlies. Crompton Town saying, Timberwolves should have won. Minnesota now because of all the Grizzlies talk in their first two games at home. Now, this was while he was mic'd up talking to his teammates and players when talking to their teammates are probably saying things 100 times worse exactly. than whatever we hear. Cat didn't call him out directly, but he might have realized that they would hear it, but they choked badly. And yeah, they choked, the honestly. Talk with one response. Damn. When Jordan Clarkson hit Desmond Bain's head, Jaron Jackson Jr. was walking towards him, and Clarkson pressed the square up emo. He got ejected, and Bain went on JJ's podcast and said, I think he's like 0 and 4 so far. Four square ups, no punches. But 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 Bain. At the same time, though, bro, when 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 when, when Le LeBron pressed you, you were really uh. You were really, yeah. You weren't really uh, saying too much, man. I mean, what do you expect? You know, like I know he's joking around, of course, but they ain't fighting no NBA. Like it all, it all depends, bro. You got to get somebody to that point, you know. Um, I don't know, but like, bro, ain't nobody fighting, bro. Nobody fighting, it's especially when you got Stephen Adams protecting y'all. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ. Hey, this is just funny. Are the Grizzlies petty too? Yeah, all mm. we have mentioned so far happened in only the past year and a half, and it's only I... continued. In December, Shan Sharp echoed the sentiments we're all thinking. The Grizzlies do a lot of talking for his team that's not won anything. And one month later, Shan in his cardigan drip was courtside for that cardigan a Lakers was so fire. game. Dylan Brooks was guarding LeBron, and Shan said he couldn't guard him in a non-PC way. Dylan cursed back at him, Jaw came over, Steven Adams came in between, like and as Shan was getting escorted out, Jaw's dad, T. Morant, also started talking, but according to Shannon, they didn't want the smoke. T and Shan hugged out afterwards, the Lakers came back and won, that cardigan is so far. Shan a NFL Hall of Famer, a pedestrian. Like, Shan Sharp won two Super Bowls, come more on, championships than you've been to the conference final. Shan in class act came out and apologized. Dylan Brooks, public menace, stood by his words. Now Dylan successfully annoyed another. I want you to understand, Grizzlies. When he gets traded, y'all gonna get better. I want you to know that right now. You need someone that has more control of their emotions and understands that they, he's, you need, you need him for defense uh, more than offense, clearly. And Dylan Brooks at times thinks he's this amazing scorer too. And I see him trying to chuck up shots sometimes. I'm like, what the hell are you doing, bro? You should not be trying to score right now. You should be trying to defend and set other players up. I don't think he's that great. I think, of course, I think he's a, he's, he's an NBA player. So he's obviously good. But compared to his other peers, I don't think Dylan Brooks is all that great. I really don't. You know, um, I feel like he puts his team into trouble more than, I, I feel like he does more harm than good, you know. 
And to my Grizzlies fans, please let me know. Please let me know, man. This ain't no no uh, disrespect to y'all. I love Memphis. Love Memphis, bro. I'm, I love Memphis. My first with music was 3-6 Mafia. I love y'all. Y'all got a special place in my heart. So don't take anything I'm saying. It's like I'm disrespecting y'all, Memphis itself, because I'm not. Because I rock with y'all. I have since Zebo and I have since Tony Allen. And I still do to this day. I just truly believe that him, Dylan Brooks, is the reason why y'all can't get to the next level. I think that's the reason. Even though he might be the harder y'all team to grit and grind, I can guarantee y'all could get another player who's grit and grind too, but also knows when and knows how to control his emotions better. Because when he's emotional, bro, he ruins the game for y'all. He really does. He's one of those players that cannot get emotional in play. He's one of those players. Other player, and that's Donovan Mitchell. He tried to hit them family jewels. And this was weird. So they've seen each this was so lot. weird. This fight could have been a whole lot worse. A whole lot worse. We're tackled by the Grizzlies coach. I feel bad for Steven Adams. Man is always out there protecting his teammates, breaking up fights that he didn't even start. W teammate. I can't believe Facts, w this teammate. many incidents have already happened. At this rate, it's similar to the Suns without even making the finals. With the Suns, they made the finals and it got to their heads. With the Grizzlies, they just arrived and already dismissed half the NBA's playoff teams yeah. publicly. I'm not sure what's going on with Team Spirit like they're already a dynasty without winning maybe because they've seen teams like the warriors Cavs, and spurs in the past decade dominate make multiple finals win championships and believe that they're on the same level since they are a good team but those teams but that's it, they're a good team that's all time it. teams not just your regular good team and mm -hmm. unless you have god tier talent like kobe and shaq or have already been champions with Jesus. god tier talent mm. like jordan mm. being problematic can derail everything I always want every team and every player to reach their full potential. The Grizzlies, with their antics, are making it hard and hard to root for them. But that's not really the problem. It's whether their attitude is actually getting in their own way. Because the Grizzlies have all... Hold on. You... This... This is what I mean. It's whether their attitude is... Y'all was calling Golden State weak. You, you get what I'm saying, bro? It's the weird arrogance. Like, Dylan Brooks, you got killed this game. You got, yo, Dylan Brooks, I ain't gonna lie, he, he's been getting killed all year. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Uh, he, he did he did really good against Donovan, because Donovan shot 2 for 11, if I remember correctly. He played good defense that game on him, and then he did a good job against uh, LeBron, I believe, on a, a good amount of possessions, too. They ended up losing still, but he he, he, did, he did a pretty good job in that game, too. So, like I said, I get credit where credit is due, of course. But then it's just like, again, next game he probably got dropped off. Like, that's, that's Dylan Brooks. He'll, have, he'll give a game that's like a great defense, everything. Next game, he'll get, he'll get killed. That's just how it is, bro. But he's also guarding the best player, so I understand. Again, I get it. But the arrogance is just weird. He's actually getting because he's way. because he's the, the worst one all the tools to out be of a good the three team, the to four, have a me. deep playoff run i just hope that whatever all this is ja, Bain, jackson be. he's the fourth case one shout goes to william thanks for mm. the all-day support and if you want to know how carmelo anthony's worst nightmare is coming true there's a video right here and if he's still here shout out to my boy mj comment fine so i know it's your boy mj yeah Shout out to my dog, MJ, man. Shout out to the homie. Great video. Great video, ladies and gentlemen. All right, man. So what we got from this was just a bunch of, a, lot of a whole lot of arrogance. Uh, we know that. But to make it to the NBA, you have to have some sort of arrogance. You got to have some sort of delusion, bro. You got to have that, bro, which I get. But it's, it's to the point now that it's getting just weird, you know? And again, uh... I like the Grizzlies. I like the I love the grit and grind for a long time, you know. But when it just comes to players like Dylan Brooks talking like their jaw, I'm a little confused. You know, John Bang can say that. I feel you, bro, because y'all they put in work. Dylan, I don't know. I don't know, bro. But hey man, what do y'all think in the comment section down below, man? Uh I know some people are gonna call me a hater or say something weird like that after I've already said. I've been a fan. Of, I've been a fan of Memphis since way, 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 even before basketball, the food, the culture, everything. So miss me with that. Miss me with that. I love Memphis. I want to see Memphis do good. I actually, I want Memphis to win a ring. I actually really do want them to win a ring, bro. 
because I can see the potential of uh, Bane and John and them becoming more than what they are today. Not only just from the basketball aspect, but just from the intellect as well. You know, I can see it. I can see it, bro. And I want the best for them. I do, man. You know, it's just unfortunate that, you know, they're just on this, like, I don't know. It, it, it just, it seems like they're just a bunch of high schoolers. You know, that's the vibe I get from them a lot. You know, people say, oh, they're having fun. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. But even as a millionaire, you have to have some certain kind of like just, you know, um, demeanor about yourself, you know. And um, when you act like a child, you know, y you're going to get treated like a child. So I don't know, man. So like I said, I got a lot of love for the Grizzlies, man. But it's just a lot of things that they do. It seems very high schoolish. And um, I just want them to just, I guess, grow up, I guess, because I can see them winning some rings. I really can. But let me know what y'all think down below, man. Uh, love y'all so much. Appreciate y'all, man. Tune in for the next episode, man. Love y'all, man. Peace and love. Bow. Have a great Monday, man. Stay safe. Stay warm. Stay sexy. Stay immaculate. But most importantly, try to learn something new every single day, y'all. Peace. I'm out of here. Mwah.